Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how you can add a live chat to your website so that you can provide the answers your customers need when they actually need them. Let's see how we can do that. Here we are at the dashboard and without further ado, let's access the chats. So we need to go to tools and chats right here. And well, before we dive into any settings, let me just explain that you will want to use chats to reduce the sales friction here. Meaning that if people uh, are actually on your landing page, website, they will be able to contact you and ask any questions they need. Meaning that uh, they will get faster answers, which can actually influence the sales process. So you will definitely want to use chats. And here at GetResponse, as you may already know, we use live chat as well. And it helps us a ton. People love the live chat. And now going through the settings, let's start from the right, right here. Very self-explanatory right here. And uh, you will be able to select if you want the chat to be always available. So this literally means 24 by 7. If you'll be away, perhaps you are on vacation and you will set some auto reply during specific hours. So in your case can be business hours or simply disabled. So right now you are not handling chats. Then here you will select uh, whichever. For now, I will go with always available. Then save settings. Now let's see the chats, um, the window appearance. And uh, starting from the top, this will be um, the first line. And just be careful because you can only have 20 characters. So how can we help you? Now this fits perfectly and as you can see the first one the first sentence right here changed and then you have two different messages for available and for away you can personalize both right here um, let's say that you are available 24 by 7 so as it's just for you to see that this uh, second line second sentence changes then you have the main chat color and this well you should have this branded and um, so that it will fit the colors of your business. I will use this one over here and you will see later on uh, that it kind of fits my newsletter as well. And I'll show you that. Company logo is this thing that you will see right here. Should be your business logo. You can also, well, if it's only you, uh, you can add your, your avatar as well. And because this one that you see right here is from the operator and I'll show you in a second. Chat button, this thing over here. And you can uh, select a different icon and disable the message. Pretty straightforward. Then you have button position, left or right, and the language. You can select here. And once you're done, you simply save here at the bottom. Then you have page appearance. Uh, and this page, uh, very simply put, uh, is the page that people will see when they click uh, a button, for example, on, your, on an email that you will send. And I'll show to you um, how you add this URL to your uh, email or a newsletter. Let's save the settings. And well, you can give a page title, uh, self-explanatory right here. You can see uh, the chat with us and a, a short description. So this, this will mostly uh, be used for people that you imagine that you are selling something on eBay. You will have a specific link that you'll be able to, to send these people and you'll be able to chat with you on a specific page. And now jumping to the visitor capture form. And what is this? Well, this is simply a way for you to capture uh, an email address, name and perhaps phone number as well. Um, so that you can contact uh, the person later or simply uh, if they want to be part of your list, right? So if they mention or if you ask them. Uh, the, the use case here uh, in most cases is when you are actually away and you ask them to leave their email address. So uh, this is the first sentence right here. And you will, of course, you can uh, select when you want to show, as I mentioned, usually when you are away. And this will be sent automatically. So leave your email address and we will contact you. Contact you in 24 hours. All right, and then uh, thank you for contacting us. This will be what will appear once they actually submit their email. And well, uh, you can require more things over here, uh, more fields. You can enable the name. As you can see, it's not required. 
uh, but I can make it required. Uh, my advice here is uh, for uh, people to actually fill in their information. You will probably just want email and name, but if you want to add the phone number, you can also have that. And then you simply select if you want to add the contacts to a specific list. And here you select a list. Mine will go to chat prospects. Save the settings. And then you have the operator profile. So uh, let me just give a brief here. You can have uh, multiple operators depending on how many people you actually have on your team in your GetResponse account. Uh, right now I have two and I'm logged in as the main one. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I gave myself the name as Pedro Test and I have the avatar here. So it's uh, very straightforward. You change the avatar right here and that's it. Then you just save the settings. If you want to add um, someone to, to the team here, you would simply go to, uh, you would go back to the dashboard firstly, and then you would access your account on the top right go to team and add um, a new person there and you just need to pay attention and give uh, the chat permission if you select the ad administrative role it will already have that permission and well uh, once you're ready we will jump now to notifications and we will leave the code for last notifications right here um, you can test the sounds if you want sounds or not. Uh, make sure to enable notifications right here on this URL. And then when there's a new chat message, do you want to be informed with a sound? And then you select the one you actually like and doesn't annoy you. Or you want when there's a new chat request, uh, you can of course disable that. And then uh, if you want to get an email notification when there's a new chat. If you have way too many chats, maybe you would like to disable that. So before we cover uh, the code uh, in fully, let me just mention that if you have, uh, if you are using the website builder or a landing page, uh, you can, you don't need any code right here. You could simply uh, go to your landing page or a website builder here. And as you can see, I have a few. You would go to edit site settings, scroll a little to the bottom, and you just enable get response chats. And that's all you need to do here. And as you can see, if now I access uh, my website, I would see the chat right here. And as I'm on the same uh, browser, it, it still remembers me as I uh, was testing before. And I can just close it right here and go back. And well, the same applies for landing page. So if you are on landing pages, it, you will do exactly the same thing. And now um, let's see the code part. So for the code, this will be for external pages. Let's say that you are using perhaps WordPress and you will simply copy the code. And what you need to pay attention is to paste the codes in the body section of the page. And what we will do, go to WordPress and we will uh, go to appearance, theme file editor. And in our case, we have to go to theme header and the body is right here, right here. And I will place it actually at the end. So this is the case for my uh, for my theme. If you have something different um, and you are not sure, well, just place it in, in the body. If not, if it is not working, you might need some developer uh, assistance right here. And well, now let's test my website. As you can see, the chat is right here. And if I, once again, I have tested this before and this is what, uh, what appears. So um, can I get some help? And by the way, if you are uh, the client, you can always download the transcript uh, through here. Uh, some of them might ask you and you can actually direct them on how they can do that. All right, so now let's go back to get response. And I did that on purpose so that we can then later on see uh, how you can reply to the customer. But before we do that, we go to predefined uh, messages. And here, uh, simply uh, as you open the chat, this is an automatic message that will welcome you. You can, of course, customize that. Uh, in my case, I have, uh, hello, how can I help you today? I can we help you today? Uh, but you can change that and just say, welcome. Uh, I'll be with you in a second you in a second in a sec and if you want to display that automatically or not it's totally up to you then you save the settings 
auto reply. So pretty much uh, if you are quite busy and uh, or you are simply away and you want to display a message within 30 seconds or any amount of time that you can see over here, you can actually edit this message and perhaps you want to let the customer say that you will get back to them as soon as possible. And then simply save the settings and go to the quick replies. The quick replies are simply a way for you to write long text um, with a shortcut, pretty much. So you, I would use free and I would get the whole message here. So you to create quick reply, shortcut, for example, supplier. Um, our supplier provides the product you are looking for and for in uh, three different colors. And then you would state them. This is just an example. You would click create and this is how it would look like. Um, so now before I jump into the statistics, let me actually show you the active chats. So I jumped right here and here you can see the operators. I have Duffy Duck and myself. So right now uh, the chat is for myself as I'm logged in uh, in my main account. And what I wanted to show you is the shortcut. So I just wrote supplier. And as you can see, it is right here. Very simple way to write. And I have another one called free. And there you go. You can also attach something to the chat. And as you can see, this is actually very useful. And you can show a capture form whenever you want, if you don't have it, um, if you don't have it automatic. And we can go to our page here now and see that the capture form was sent and also my messages. This is actually pretty useful for you. And now going back, um, let's say that the, the chat is closed, Marquez closed. You can download uh, the transcript and then you can go to closed chats. And here you can see who closed the chats actually, um, let's say uh, by Pedro. You can see that I just closed one right now uh, here. And um, if we check Duffy Duck, for example, he has uh, only one that occurred on my landing page named Cookie. And well, uh, you can uh, actually go here to the right and see the, uh, his chat. Now going back, you can go to the three vertical dots, download the transcript, or simply view the blocked chats right here. This might be useful as well to see if someone was harassing you. It's always a good idea to block them. And I will show you that in a second, how you can block someone. So if I actually go back here and I write, write something, and now I will go to get response, active chats. And let's say that this person is harassing me and well, uh, we don't really want to deal with that. We will just block the contact right here. And then you would see them on the page I just showed you on the closed chats. All right, now jumping to the statistics. Uh, this is very useful for you to see how long your operators are actually taking uh, per chat and how many you have closed, open, unanswered. Uh, very good metric. You don't want a very high percentage here. You want to answer everybody in a timely manner. And then you have chat participants. So uh, contacts simply means uh, people that are on your contact list and visitors, people that are not. Then chat source, uh, external page. This means someone that came from your WordPress page, for example, a landing page, someone that came from your landing page and get response, of course. And email, I will show you uh, right now. How do we do that? Chats over time, you can see here. And if I move myself to the right, you'll see uh, the operator activity. So Pedro has one chat and Duffy Duck has one as well, right here. Of course, this is only this week, because if I go to all time, you will see uh, pretty different statistics here. And Pedro has five charts and Duffy Duck has one. All right. So now uh, what I want to do is to show you how you can place this chart on your uh, newsletter. I already have one of the templates here. So I simply went to the editor, selected one of the templates and I added a button here with a live chat link, but I will delete and showcase to you what we just did. So I just went to button, dragged and dropped. 
place it here. As I can see, there are two spacers. I will actually move one below. I want quite a big button here, so I will make it large. And I want to change the color to match my branding. So we will use this. Increase the size. And I want to change this to chat with us. Chat with us. All right. Uh, and over here, make it bold. And now the part that really matters, which is to select the URL. And you simply select chat. And that's it. You do nothing else. You just uh, now send the newsletter and people will be able to chat with you and they will be taken to that page that we uh, spoke about before. And now something that you might notice. If you go to the preview, you, you will probably expect to see this page, but you won't be able to see it. And I'm showing this to you because it's something that you won't be able to do. You can only test that when you go when you actually send a real newsletter so this cannot be tested on uh, test newsletters so if you send to yourself uh, as a test as well so if you go to test here and send test message you will also get an error so this only works when the newsletter is actually sent so don't get scared if you don't see it working it only works on the real thing and well now you have all the tools you need you can place a chat on your external website on your website builder it's very easy and you can start reducing this, the sales friction and start giving the answers your customers need when they actually need them. And this can certainly help you close some sales. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.